Hey there, it's Jeff from Hot Tub Owner HQ. And I had a different video planned for today, but when I came out to check on my inflatable hot tub this morning, I noticed it was beeping and flashing. Just the temperature, but at 60 degrees, I noticed the water's not particularly hot. The other thing I noticed that was interesting is when I walked away from the hot tub with this removable panel, it changed, it stopped beeping and it just had a static error code of E81. And I looked that up in the manual and all it said was transmission signal failure, whatever the heck that means. I don't know what it means. And the manual didn't elaborate. I googled around, didn't really particularly find an answer. So I thought maybe we could work together to see if I could figure out what went wrong. I do know that the hot tub is plugged in still and that breaker is still working. It's still getting power. So the issue is somewhere right in here in this panel here. Now, the first thing I thought about was, well, I did read somewhere it said press and hold the power button for five seconds in close proximity to the control base. So let's try that. Trying that right now. As you can see, it's back to flashing. It says 60 degrees Fahrenheit and end. Pressing and holding it's not particularly helping though. So the next thing let's try is let's actually unplug this unit maybe for 10 seconds and then plug it back in and see if that does anything. Gonna do that right here. I will say that the Am now you can hear it beeping again. I, I will say that the ambient air temperature has been cold. It's December here in Central Texas. So it's been in the 30s and 40s mostly. It's not really gotten significantly below freezing. It definitely didn't last night, but it is. I know the inflatable hot tubs aren't recommended for when the temperature drops below 40 degrees Fahrenheit. And we definitely have a little bit. I'm gonna hit the test button here and then I'm gonna hit the reset button too. All right, it's now on, but not flashing. I'm gonna hit the power button and I'm gonna hit the heat button and I'm gonna set it to 100 like I had it before. I do hear it working now. So it looks like that's all that was really needed. Unfortunately, I don't really know why it happened in the first place. Uh, I just literally set this up a few days ago. I made a previous video that details the complete setup of this, and you can see that on my channel. I'll link to it down below and at the end of this video as well, in case you wanna see the complete setup of this. So unfortunately, we're left with kind of a mystery. We don't really know why this thing stopped working. We haven't had any power outages at the house that I'm aware of. If there have been any, they were short-lived and in the middle of the night, but even then my alarm clock normally flashes if the power's gone out uh, for more than a split second and it hasn't done that at all in the last few days. So I don't think we've had a power outage. The only thing I can think of is that it may have something to do with the low temperatures we've been experiencing here. But like I mentioned, it hasn't really gotten significantly below freezing. It's just been in the 30s and 40s. And while that might make it hard for it to kind of keep up with the set temperature, I have mine set to 100. I don't know why that would cause it to actually stop working. But it's back on now. So if you have this same issue, just know that unplug it for 10 seconds, plug it back in, hit the test button and then the reset button on the end of the cable there, then turn the power back on on the controller and then hit the heat button again. Mine was already set to the temperature of 100, which, which is where I previously had it set to. So I didn't have to set that again. And that took care of the problem. I can hear it heating up right now. Um, in this kind of weather, 30s and 40s, um, expect it to heat only maybe one to two degrees per hour. And I don't know what the actual water temperature is right now. It didn't feel ice cold, but it wasn't warm. So I'm guessing it's going to be at least overnight, if not well into tomorrow before this thing gets back to the regular temperature. Anyway, this was just a short video. I hope it helps you. Please give me a thumbs up if you found this helpful. It sends a great signal to YouTube and they'll show it to other hot tub owners just like you. And then smash that subscribe button because I'm putting out new videos every week and there might be something coming up in a future video or a past one that you need help with. And of course, if you have a comment, leave me that down below as well. I love to help people. At this point, I am getting a lot of comments and a lot of emails, and it does take me a while to respond to them all, but I'm definitely responding to every single one of them. But with that, I'll see you in the next video.